Right guys, welcome to a new video. Um, today, Charlie's taking apart his bike again. I don't know why. Just checking for the air filter maybe. Yeah. But uh, we are here because a lot of people were interested in the graphics we, we got for Charlie's bike. And uh, you can like design your own. You can make it look however you want. There's a bunch of different layouts. And the, the site we use is, what, what is it called? Motocal. Motocal. Um, and Charlie has a discount discount code how many times can you use the discount code 10 you can use the discount code 10 times it's 10 percent off well, um one per, it's one per one person. person can use it 10 percent off but only 10 people can use it so the first 10 people that see this will probably uh you can make up the graphics and quick put in, put in that code and you can get 10 percent off which is this pretty code, good right here this is the code right here um i h d p p y 5 h s so type that in and you get 10% off um, graphics. And how much were your, uh, yours for your I'm bike? I'm like 107. 107 with a 10% code yeah. off? Yeah. All right, so yeah, they're usually so like... Cam Luker for giving me the 10% discount. Thanks, Cam Luker. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can design any way you want. Let's go look at Chuck's. <laughs> By the way, this is not a sponsorship. I wish it was, but... <laughs> so if uh, Monocal is uh, watching the video, sponsor me maybe. All right, so here's... Here are the graphics. You can like design every single little part of it. Like I put this border on here, this border on the letters, everything. You can pick the font, you can pick the... There's a ton of different um, decal, decal type things. things. Um, and like they look sick, they're really high quality too. And you oh, can yeah. pick you can pick medium thickness or high thickness, which yeah. is a little bit more. But yeah, if you guys want 10% off, Charlie's got 10 codes. We thought we'd uh, let you guys know just in case somebody wanted some uh, good quality graphics for cheap. Yeah. So yeah. Well, that's about it for that. Um, we sold, let's see here. We got you, this bike back. The graphics weren't even that hard to put on either, no. by the way. We got this bike back um, and it's selling today. We bought it yesterday back from the kid and uh, selling it today. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Um, so I'm selling it for 13. Um, so I made 250 on it, which isn't that much, but I wanted to get rid of it. I sold the, the blue bike, but Suzuki 250 that was sitting right here is gone. Um, sold that for 850. The Kawasaki 100 is gone. I sold that for 500. Um, so on those two bikes, those those two vintage bikes I picked up, I made about 850 on the two pair. Two vintage bikes. The two vintage. Oh, get it? All right. And then uh, this is the Hadaka. I guess we can talk about. Um, it's a pretty pretty cool little bike. I wish it was out in the sun so you guys could see it better. But it's so cold out, it's like 50 degrees. It's in pretty rough condition. It's a uh, 19, let's look at the tag here. November of 1971. 1971 Hadake. I don't know what the name of it is, let's see. Ace 100. Honda. Honda. <laughs> Hadaka from Fu Fuji Motorsports. Um, yeah, I don't know what model it is. Ace 100. That's a model. But it's got that cool muffler in the back right here. Never seen one of those. It has uh, stainless steel fenders, which don't rust at all, which are pretty cool. Ever. They're really hard, too. Um, it's got the chrome tank on it. And, uh, yeah, it, it runs, drives. We're going to do, a, like, a test drive maybe later tonight or tomorrow. Um... The YSR is still, uh, still running great. No plugs are getting fouled. We rode it again today and it's pretty good. Moped's still hanging in there. Oh, we yeah. rode that thing like probably 10 miles. Maybe. 10 miles, yeah. Still doing good. The Rup didn't, did not, uh, did not sell. Say nada. I think the guy's here for the bike. Is he? We've got a guy coming in like five minutes to pick up that blue bike right there. So we're just waiting around for that. Um, I think another guy's supposed to come for the moped. But uh, who knows? Um, hope you guys enjoyed that top speed test of the YSR. I think it can go faster because when I was riding it and doing the top speed test, there's like a power band in the top gear that I never hit because when I rode it after the top speed test, it went like a lot faster. So I think it can go like around 50. Um, we'll have to redo a top speed test on it, but I mean, I, I was happy with the 44 for a 50 cc, but I mean, I think it can go faster than that. What are you doing? 
Yeah. Again? It's getting down there. You're cleaning it out again? You haven't even ridden the bike. What are you doing? Just greasing it up? Yeah. On the outside. On that side. Oh yeah. You grease it on the outside in case people don't know, so you don't get any dirt in there. On the outside of it. So it seals. Seals tight the plastic. Alright guys, well that's gonna be it for today. I'm in pro so stay tuned. Look forward to that. And uh see you at home around eight o'clock. Alright guys, uh, here's the Hadaka, first start up on it. Um, I haven't started it in like probably three days, or two days, I think it's been. So Charlie's going to do a quick start up on it. The gearing is very strange on this bike. It's one up, and I think I the rest... Don't know what it is. We don't really know what it is. <laughs> We're guessing. Um, the, only, the only way it moves is uh, one up, and then the rest down, I think. Yeah. But it's pretty tough to get into neutral. Um, Charlie will show you. Start it up. I think you want to choke it, maybe. The gas tank is on both sides. The There's a, two petcocks over here. It's kind of cool. Should start up like first kick. Thing runs good. Yeah, there we go. Look at that muffler on it. Let her warm up a little bit. Headlight? Oh, right here. There's a, there's a headlight switch right here. That turns on. You can see the light right there, and then off. On. Off. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Yep, on. Yep. Got the odometer up here. Two thousand miles. Try it. There Chuck goes, and it's warming up today. Um, it was like 50, but now it's getting up to like 70. It's pretty nice at now. Yeah, but the thing runs pretty good. 250 bucks, can't go wrong. Running bike, 250 bucks. It's a Hadaka. I like the name of it, Hadaka. Here he comes around here. How do you like it? Did you figure out the gear pattern? Yeah, one up, two down, I think. One up, two down? Smoky girl. That's for sure. Cool little bike for the price. There he goes. Oh, and we're picking up a uh, a CR85 right now in Green Bay. We've got the truck loaded up. Um, we have the straps right here already. Let me just slide the bike in, strap both sides, and we're on our way. So we're heading to Green Bay in about like five minutes. Um, we got a CR85 for 700 bucks. Let me go pick that up quick. It's 2003. Here he comes. But we gotta get this video done for today so you guys have something to watch tomorrow. I think it's cruising. Looks like it runs pretty well. But we gotta get going um, to go pick up that bike before it gets dark out. It's like mm, 7.45 right now. Waving Charlie in. Thing runs nice. Smokes a lot. Going probably a little bit rich. The guy probably ran it too rich. Park it in the garage. What? Park it. That is more gears than three. Oh really? So it's probably. Let's go. Ch let's go check what it is. License plate on it. Turn it off. Just keep it off. We have to go. Turn the petcock off. What are we picking up? I already told him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty pretty good price. Probably can make like 250 on it. Maybe more. 300. 
it's worth it. There's not too many bikes up right now, so. This thing's fast. Jeez. Yeah, oh, it's, like 50. Yeah, that one guy that came over and bought the, the YZ um, said it went. He, he was going to turn it into a racer, so it's got to be pretty fast. But uh, anyway, um, that's going to be the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until um, next time, we are out.